What are you guys doing here? I hope no one's followed you. Quick, come inside. Welcome back everybody. Now, as you all know, we've been fitting up the Clever Cool Bridge Fan Mods to our Jayco Swan Camper Trailer. We've done the external fan kit and also recently did the internal fan kit as well. But on the side, we've also been testing the brand new Clever Cool Remote Control. So one of the main comments that I noticed when we did the original external fridge fan kit is that quite a few people install an inline switch so that you can manually control these fans and switch them off when they're not being used. Because once these are plugged in, they will automatically turn on and off, which isn't really a big issue at all. However, if your van's in storage, it would be nice to be able to disable this system so that it's not running on and off. So Royce has been working away developing this remote which essentially does the job of the inline switch. However, it integrates with the circuit board that's already fitted to your Clevercool fridge fan kits. This remote allows you to run it in the auto operation, so the fans come on with the thermostat as programmed by the controller itself. You also have the option of the full manual mode, where you simply turn the switch and that will turn the fridge fans on. If you're stirring your van for a long period of time and you are plugging it into mains power, you also have the option now to disable the system by turning the switch to off. And I think that's a fantastic idea because if you're storing the van away and it's plugged into mains, it's quite often that the fridge fans will turn on just from the ambient heat themselves, even though the fridge isn't running. Now the remote also has this handy little colored LED indicator. So you can visually see the status of the system from inside your caravan. And these colors correspond with the LED lights on your Clevercool fridge fan kits. Meaning you have green when it's on standby, blue when the fans are operational, and red when the fans are off. And as usual, this remote itself is complemented by all the bits and pieces you need to do the installation, and it's super simple. So in the kit, you get these clear, easy to understand instructions with pictures and labels on them, so you can't go wrong. You also get the mounting hardware and cover caps, the cable to connect it all together with your RJ45 connectors, and this little 3D printed cap, which I'll show you shortly. So let's get into the installation and I'll show you just how easy it is. So Royce has been thinking ahead here for a number of years because what we're essentially doing here is connecting this brand new Clevercool remote via this cable into the back of the circuit board and the whole system talks to itself and is ready to go. There's no additional 12 volt wiring you need to do. We're simply adding in the communication line between this remote and the controller itself and everything is ready to go. And that's where this little white cap comes into place. And this is my little two cents into the development of this system itself. You simply remove this cap, plug it in. And I said to Royce, this system is so neat. What I love about it is its attention to detail. So we came up with this little 3D printer cap with an opening on one side that clips over your cabling and keeps it all nice and neat. So now the first step of the instructions is to test the remote and make sure it's going to work with your particular kit. So you want to simply remove your upper vent that has the external fridge fan kit connected and then place it down somewhere nearby so it's still connected to the van and we'll test the remote to make sure it works. And then it's a simple case of removing this plastic cover off the communication port and it's here ready to plug in your new remote. And then it's a simple case of putting one end of the cable into the port on the back of the fridge fan like so. And then on the back of the remote, you'll see a corresponding port. And then it's a simple case of getting the other end of the cable and plugging it in like so. And you'll see the corresponding green light, 
that indicates the system is on standby. So now we can test this by turning it, the fans off and the red light comes on and turning the fans on and the blue light comes on and the fans are running just like they should be. So we're all good from a testing point of view. It's a simple case of installing this remote into your caravan or camper trailer and you're pretty much done. Now, if you're installing this into a Jayco camper trailer, in particular, a Swan or an Eagle, it's extremely easy. You remove this bottom vent, feed this cable down through the cavity, along with your other cabling you've got for your fridge fan installation. And then down in this corner, you can feed the cabling through into the lounge area and into the back of your CTEC system. And that will be roughly where we mount the remote, along with all your other controls under the lounge itself. So I'll feed this cable down through the fridge cavity, cable tie it onto the existing loom, and then feed it in down through the little opening in the cabinetry here, and then we'll finish the installation inside the van itself. Now it's a simple case of plugging the remote cable into the remote port, and then we place this little 3D printed cover back over the top to keep it all nice and neat. And then using the supplied zip ties, you simply want to secure your remote cable onto your loom that runs down through the back of the fridge to keep it all nice and tidy. So now we'll quickly go inside, drill a quick hole, mount this remote, tidy it all up, and we're pretty much done. Now before we head inside, you'll notice on the back page of your instructions, there's two templates cut one of them out. And then you want to drill with a 20 to 22 mil drill bit. I'm using a spade bit and it's 20 because I only have 20 or 25, but it looks like it should work. So we'll go ahead with this for now and I'll let you know if you do need a 22 mil spade bit. And it's also important to make sure that your mains is disconnected and also your 12 volt if you can do that as well. Now I've run my remote cabling through from in behind the fridge in behind us here. And now it's just trying to find a suitable location for the remote to go in. I was originally looking to put it over here, right next to our battery isolator switch. We've got our solar regulator here, and obviously the main fuse panel for the CTEC unit underneath. Now, unfortunately, in behind here, there's a divider for our main isolator that separates it from the CTEC unit and some brackets. So this location in our instance isn't the most appropriate. Unfortunately, I've also got a 12 volt outlet over here where I would otherwise mount it next to our solar control panel. So the best location for us is to locate this remote just to the side over here. It still keeps it in amongst all the other switches and control panels. So it's all nice and tidy. And most importantly, it doesn't interfere with any bracketry or wiring in behind. And as I said just before, make sure you isolate your mains and your 12 volt and always check in behind to make sure there's no cabling that you're going to drill through when you make the openings to mount this remote control. And you'll see I've positioned my template now and I've also added a red line horizontally through. That's so I can line it up with the center line of this outlet here. And I've also got a red line up through the middle and that's so I can get my square and make sure that it's level from the floor of the camper trailer or caravan itself. Now I'm going to drill the top hole, the bottom hole for our screw fixings and also the center of the larger 22 or 20 mil hole, which will act as a pilot. So I can pull this template back off and put the main opening in for this cable to come in from behind the unit. Another tip and trick for making large holes in cabinetry using either a spade bit or a hole saw is where you can run this through so that the point is just coming out through the other side and then come in from the other side and do the same and that will stop any fraying and tearing of the timber on both sides. Now it's simply a case of feeding the remote cord through and plugging it into the back of the remote unit itself. Then you thread it back through and the 20 mil hole 
does just work for fixing the remote snugly onto the face of your panel. Now you simply put in the screws supplied by Royce from 3D Print RV. And he even provides these awesome black cover caps. So we'll pop them on, tidy up the wiring, put the cover back on over this CTEC unit and do a final test before we put the cushions all back on. And the installation of the remote is done. So as you can see, that was incredibly easy. There's a sheet on the back which has a whole heap of additional functions that you get with this remote as well. For example, if you're in the auto mode and the LED indicator inside is red, that is an over tamp alarm. So you need to check your fans and make sure it's all working. And then you've always got the blue light that comes on anytime the fans are operating. Now is this remote 100% absolutely necessary? Of course not. But it does provide that convenience of being able to check the operation of your system from inside your caravan itself. And most importantly to me, it gives the override function that you can either switch the fans on or turn the system off completely, particularly if you're storing a caravan, plugging it into mains, and you don't want those fans running all the time when it's hot and your fridge isn't turned on itself. But again, it's just another quality product from Royce over at 3D Print RV. And I'm really happy with the full setup that we've got with the external fridge fans, the internal fridge fans, and now the remote that controls it all and provides a little bit of monitoring without having to run outside and see what's happening. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I've got to get the camper down because I've got another little modification to the front bay that I think everyone will love. And we've also got a whole pile of modifications and accessories and tests that we're doing both with our Jayco Swan and our new Jayco Journey Outback as well. And while the weather's been atrocious lately, we are trying to get out and do a few trips as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. And if you're interested in any of the 3D Print RV gear, I've got a link to the website in the description below and also a link to the installation of our internal and external fans as well. But for now, I've got to get on to some other projects. So as I always say, get out there, stay safe and have fun. We'll catch you next time.